Kate Slade likens on screen, but her personal life was bleeding. Addicted to cigarettes before she was 15, Kate battled with severe health and mental breakdown in her later years. Join us as we discuss the untold truths about Kate Beckinsale while you enjoy some rare photos of her. Catherine Romani Beckinsale was born on 26 July 1973 in the Chiswick District of London. Her parents were actors Richard Beckinsale and Judy Lowe. She had her first TV appearance when she was four in an episode of the British biographical documentary, This Is Your Life. Kate, born into luxury, was having the time of her life until an unexpected tragic event hit her family and left her traumatized forever. Richard Beckinsale, Kate's father, died unexpectedly from a massive heart attack. At the time of his death, his wife was in the hospital for surgery to increase their chances of having another baby. Kate struggled to recover from this and it made her always believe that tragic things would happen to her. Five years later, her mother moved in with her new lover, director Roy Battersby, who already had four boys. Beckinsale went to an all-girls school in West London, and while in high school, it was reported that she won the W. H. Smith Young Writers Award for Fiction and Poetry twice. Inspired by her parents, Kate Beckinsale had long decided that she was going to be an actress. She chose acting because her parents seemed to enjoy their job better than her friends' parents. After high school, Beckinsale went to New College, Oxford, where she studied French and Russian literature, but she would drop out halfway to study acting. The actress had her TV debut in the 1991 ITV adaptation of P.D. James's Devices and Desires, and after this, she was featured in a string of movies including Much Ado About Nothing, Cold Comfort Farm, Haunted, and Alice Through the Looking Glass. While most of these films were relatively successful, none of them gave her the recognition she wanted, until 2001. Although she was making a name for herself, it was one particular role that catapulted her into the spotlight. Beckinsale's breakthrough role was as Nurse Evelyn Johnson in the war film Pearl Harbor. The film was a box office hit, grossing over $449 million worldwide. Kate easily got more prominent roles afterward, but she realized that it takes a little more than talent to survive in Hollywood. Kate most probably would have gotten another big chance had she missed her slot at Pearl Harbor, but the actor said that she was almost rejected because of her looks. Kate said that her younger self would have committed suicide because of what the director said to her at the audition. There have been many speculations on why director Michael Bay still chose her for the role. Kate believes he chose her because she was not too attractive. I don't think I fitted the type of actress the director had met before, Kate said. I think he was baffled by me because my boobs weren't bigger than my head and I wasn't blonde. But here's what the director said about the audition. I wasn't sure about her at first. She wore black trousers in her screen test and I thought she was a little nasty, Michael reported. It was easy to think of this woman as a slut. Anyway, after she got the role, director Michael was still not satisfied with her body, so he compelled her to lose weight. Kate is grateful that she had to deal with all these when she was more mature and experienced. If I had come onto a movie set at a younger age and someone said, you're a bit funny looking, can you go on a diet? I might have jumped off a building, Kate said. And that kind of talk was born out of her insecurity, an insecurity that started when she lost her father. One of these struggles that significantly impacted her life was her addiction to cigarettes. After Kate lost her father at such an early age, she knew that she was never going to be the same again. However, she never anticipated that she was going to be a cigarette addict before she turned 20. After her mother got married again to director Roy Battersby, Kate had to live with his four boys. According to the actress, the boys introduced her to cigarettes at age 16, and she has struggled to break the habit ever since. This might try to paint Kate to have been a rebellious teenager, but that was not it. As a matter of fact, it was quite the opposite. She described herself as a late bloomer. All my friends were kissing boys and drinking cider way before me. I found it really depressing that we were not making campfires and everyone was doing stuff like that, Kate revealed. While she struggled with her smoking habit, she later revealed that she had never been drunk because she totally avoids alcohol. Beckinsale might look all strong and ready to take down lichens in front of the camera, but behind the scenes, the actress has been fighting for her life for close to three decades. Unfortunately, her battles didn't stop at cigarettes. 
Kate had a mental breakdown at age 15, and after that, it had been one nasty episode to another. It was so severe that she had to go through four years of active psychoanalysis for her to be able to live a normal life again. She reportedly suffered from anorexia and weighed 70 pounds at the lowest point. Kate, on how she was able to pull through such difficult times, said that she had to learn and practice meditation, and also cutting down on her caffeine intake proved to be very helpful too. She also acknowledges her biggest support system to the women in her life, and so encourages women to have gangs of girlfriends. I think that's how we process things, it's how we support each other, it's how we mirror the experiences we're having," Beckinsale shared. Kate might have described herself as a late bloomer, but when it was finally time to put herself out there, the underworld star did not hold back. She has been romantically involved with a lot of men in and outside of Hollywood, and sadly, none came with the fairy tale ending. Despite her personal battles, Kate still pursued love and happiness. Her first publicized romance was with actor Michael Sheen. They met in 1995 on a touring production of Seagulls, and they welcomed their daughter Lily four years later. Michael and Kate separated in 2003, but they continued to co-parent their daughter. She found love again with filmmaker Len Wiseman. Kate met him on the set of Underworld in 2003, and they tied the knot the following year. She filed a divorce against him after 11 years of marriage in November 2015. The reason for the divorce was stated as irreconcilable differences. They have both had complicated schedules and so grew apart, an insider revealed to People magazine. The actress started another romance with comedian Peter Davidson, but this didn't last as well. She called it quits in 2019. Kate Beckinsale has also dated former TLC host Matt Reif and comedian Jack Whitehall. While her personal life was a roller coaster, her career was reaching new heights. In 2003, Kate was cast in what might be the most popular role of her career. She played the vampire Celine in Underworld. The film ranked at the box office and would soon gain a cult following. Kate confessed that the Celine character was very challenging and behind the scenes she struggled so much to get her stunts right. She only agreed to audition because of her fear of being typecast in classical roles. She was featured in The Aviator, and in 2006, Beckinsale reprised her role as Celine in Underworld Evolution. This was directed by her then-husband, Len Wiseman, and they had her daughter in the films as the younger Celine. What is she doing now? Her portrayal of Celine in Underworld marked a high point in her career, but she didn't stop there. Kate Beckinsale, after her action days were temporarily over, would return to small-scale projects. In 2007, she was featured in the independent drama Snow Angels. She was also in 2008's Winged Creatures and Nothing But The Truth. In 2012, Kate reprised her role as Celine in Underworld Awakening. The actress also appeared in the action thriller Contraband. Kate's most recent projects include the 2016 rom-com Love and Friendship, the 2019 ITV drama The Widow, and the American action comedy film Jolt in 2021. Kate Beckinsale, now 49 years old, is still as beautiful and fierce as ever. She currently lives in her breathtaking mansion in Los Angeles. Celebrity net worth estimates her to be somewhere close to $25 million. If you like this video, make sure to watch this other video on beautiful actresses of yesteryear in the end screen.